In today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, Air Force Academy Kata Chapel, and this was a project done by uh, Walter Natch of Skidmore, Ownings and Merrill Architects, and the location of this project is El Paso, USA. So uh, this was this is actually a little bit like uh, its older project, uh, and today we're going to model actually uh, the exterior facade of this project, and I'll be showing you how how we can. Uh, actually use these uh, drawings and create a simple module that we'll be using uh, to create the rest of the geometry. So uh, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import this section that I found and uh, I'll also import uh, the base plan and I'll be using the base plan to actually get uh, the scaling right. Let's go to the top and now I will just create some lines from these uh, slab here and they'll be I'll be using them as a guide so I know that uh, my my base here is the scale so uh, let's see uh, let's see what it is all right so this would be this edge will be here and now I'll do the scale scale it from here to here and I'll bring it until there so now more or less we have the the correct positioning for our model and uh, the next thing I'll do I'll can actually uh, bring this up so I'll go to the perspective let's flip it to 90 degrees and let's bring this up so let's say that this will be our ground level somewhere around there let me just go here, for example, here. I'll go up and I'll bring 0, 0, 0. This will bring me there in the middle. I'll not create uh, all of the details. I'll just create this uh, basic uh, shape here so that we have uh, the positioning correct. And uh, let's uh, create, I'm, I'm just going to create now some simple lines here. Uh, before that, I'm going to lower the opacity, transparency, so that I can see what I'm doing here, like this. And let's lock this guy. Let's do the pl uh, the polyline, and maybe I'll just bring it just a tiny bit, so that this top line is matched here with my with my drawing. So I'm gonna start from here come until there and let's go here and I can pretty much come here to the middle and then I'll just use these two I'll join and I'll mirror it it should be fine yeah so let's bring this something like this let's join these two and this will be our ground now I'll create uh, some kind of a rectangle here. Let's go from the middle like this. Let's mirror it both sides. Uh, let's do the rectangle again from this side now. Do the same here. And now let's create this big shape. So I'm gonna basically go from here and that would be my one side I'll now do the polyline and I'll just go over to the top let me just create here the middle the middle uh, the middle axis and I'll do the extent I'll bring this curve to the end there let's do the mirror and let's do of course uh, this part here something like that and let's connect these two now I'll select these these lines that I just drew and let's mirror them on the other side so uh, that will give us the base and we have the drawing now here so what's next 
So the next thing is to actually give this guy some thickness. So let's orient the seaplane back and oh well we can also increase the transparency of this one. Let's lock it and let's see what we can do here. So we know that this should be uh, one single one single curve. So what we can do we can do we can actually bring them uh, bring them out here. We can say set point and you can use the y direction, bring them from the top, bring them there. And from there we can just do the extrude and come until here. That would be fine. In this case we can do a cap and we can do boolean union and we can do merge all faces and this will give us uh, this will give us our our floor here and also we can do the same thing here uh, and let's bring it let me just check to see if we have the information or this should be located so it seems that it's just below this slab so we'll use the same kind of on the same kind of orientation here let's do extrude curve and we'll be using the same technique boolean union and merge all faces to set this up once we have this then we'll, we can use basically this uh this crown that we just we just created we can just uh create the edge like this uh, before doing that, let's uh, create these uh, these elements here that are going to go up. So let me just check. Okay, so let's bring them into position here. So I'll just create one, and then we'll be able to use it for the rest. So okay, so we can actually bring it here. We can do the extrusion like this we can cap it and then we can use solid points on to create here the the scaling like this and that should be fine and now we're going to uh, distribute uh, this on both sides so let's do the mirror and now let's see how we can create uh, this one side. So as you can see here, this first surface is um, inclined. It seems that this point and this point are in the same level. If you go here, you will see that these two points are um, in the same element. So we need to create this element first, then this one in the middle. So let's do that. So I'm going to explode all of these. I'm going to actually split this with these guys so that we have this element there. And I'll probably need probably need to actually join this for now and then later I'll modify it like this. And let's do uh, let's do, for example, let me just check. All right. Yeah, so I need to do the splitting for the whole thing. Let's do the split of this curve. Let's split it with these two so that we have these three. And now we can select all of these guys. You can say, give me the control points. And I want to bring these two somewhere like this. I can change this later on, but for now I just need to have base geometry. Then I will use surface from three corner points. And I can actually now start creating uh, these elements here. Like so. So this would be one, one of my elements here I'll join it and now let's do the other ones as well mm 
there it is and the last one we can actually use these edges and we can just say we can just say here plan surface to create a surface so once we have this guy uh, we actually have the, the main things that we need so we can uh, pretty much join all of this but of course we need to extract this surface because this will be mirrored so now let's mirror it like this and basically that would be uh, our first first element that uh, will actually be able to mirror first let's join it also here and let's mirror it on this axis as well and now let's let's group this and let's bring it here in the position and let's see what we can do more so that would be that would be our single module and now uh, let's see if this will work let's group it and uh, pretty much we need to create one that goes here in the middle until here so let's see if we mirror this or actually if we bring this here uh, what's gonna happen let's do copying uh, this is alright because it's not matching because it seems that the drawing is not 100% precise so uh, once we have this uh, these elements then the last thing that we need to do is actually create uh, this inner geometry that is left and uh, the way to create this geometry is let's first connect these two and uh, now we need to connect these two as well and that would be that will be one of our planes that we'll be using here so i'm gonna uh, hold uh, control and shift and i'll select these two i'll select this one and this one let's do planar surface and i'm gonna do mirror i'm gonna bring it i'm gonna go to the side views like this and let's do the mirror uh, in this case of course uh, this guy needs to be precisely here on the position like so uh, and that would be uh, that element we can now of course join it and now we can uh, do solid points on and let's bring these two in these two like so and let's do the mirror there you go that would be it let's join these guys and now let's do the copying again and let's select all of these to yes this means that we will keep the distance like this and the last thing that we need to do here is to create uh, these last two panels and then uh, we will have the whole structure ready so let's do plan surface now let's do mirror and I'll mirror here on the opposite side like this and we'll join it with these guys and that was pretty much it uh, in this case we'll just need it to create as you saw just one one uh, simple module uh, based on that module uh, you create all the rest the only difference here is that we need to create these middle middle areas and uh, and of course uh, we need if you want we can create of course this front view but uh, I'll just create one one big surface here so I can use for example this edge I can use this edge and let's maybe yeah, yeah let's use this guy here and one more let's say this one and I'm gonna say duplicate edge I'm gonna say join I'm gonna say close curve and this will give me uh, the option to create planar surface which is exactly what I wanted and uh, I can pretty much copy this 
on the front and that would be that would be uh, this project uh, of course uh, there's if you want you can do a lot of a lot more detailing we forgot to include this guy here and let's unlock everything and we can hide these two and there it is um, if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them uh, in the comment section below uh, this was uh, the tutorial for Air Force Academy Cat Chapel located in El Paso and the United States don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're first time here visiting I upload this kind of tutorials every week and um, click on that notification bell so that you don't you don't miss any content that I post in addition to that I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my VIP newsletter uh, you will see the uh, the link in the description below and uh, in that newsletter I share a lot of uh, good content for free that is connected to architecture uh, and uh, 3d modeling so until the next time take care and see you soon